Actually, guys, how's it going? This actually should be a 7 there, 5.7, conservation of energy. So this is kind of almost the end of where we're trying to get, is that we're trying to see that for a closed system, any change in the kinetic energy from K1 to K final, K initial to K final, of a closed system, is compensated by an equal change in the internal energy. So if K in, uh, if the, in, the kinetic energy goes down after this interaction, the internal energy will go up. If K goes up, the internal energy should go down. So the energy of a, of a system at a specific state is given by your kinetic energy plus your internal energy. And just as we said, if um, if it's a closed system, then the total change in energy is zero, right? Um, let's see if the, here is what we're looking for. And we've mentioned this before quite a few times, that the change in the internal energy is equal to the negative of the change in the kinetic energy. If the kinetic energy of a closed system changes, then the state of the system must change. The state of the system must change in such a way that its internal energy changes by an amount. Okay, and I probably amount that's the same as the change in the kinetic energy. Okay, so let's have a look at two uh, little diagrams or, or pictures, figures. So here we have a system. It's a closed system. We have a ball dropping onto a mattress. And so initially our kinetic energy is, has a certain uh, amount, quantity, and the internal energy is perhaps quite low. But then um, that kinetic energy gets converted. Basically afterwards the velocities are zero, so our kinetic energy is then zero afterwards. But that entire change in kinetic energy is transferred and converted to internal energy which is then perhaps heat, uh, change in shape. So the internal energy now of the system has increased. Okay, but now this is, this is something for us to take note of. We know that delta E internal is the negative of delta K. Okay, so if there's a change in internal energy, there has to be a change in kinetic energy. However, it doesn't mean that you won't have a transfer of internal energy or a change of state within a system. Okay, let me repeat this. It's possible for us to have a change of state and a transfer of internal energy, okay, without there being a change in kinetic energy, but that still means that your change in internal energy is zero. Okay, so for example, if you've got a battery that is draining, um, it has a high chemical internal energy, and it's busy draining, so now you put a wire there, it drains, and what it does is it increases its temperature. So the state has changed, this is my point, the state has changed, there's been a delta of the state, um, but there's been no change in internal energy within the system. The amount of chemical energy that has been lost has been added to the amount of thermal energy. Both of these are internal energy and the state has changed, but there's been no change in internal energy, which means there's been no change in kinetic energy. All right. So, yes, in the next one, we'll see you. We will carry on with 5.8.